how to configure the Coolix 600. You will see here it's made up of two parts. The first part is the chassis. This is the 600 watt engine that delivers power to your power mods. From a load point of view, we have four power mods available. These are available in 48 volts, 24 volts, 12 volts and 5 volts. All wide trimmable. The 48 volts is 200 watts. The 24 volts is 200 watts. The 12 volts is 180 watts. And the 5 volts is 105 watts. On board, we have a number of features. We have full differential remote sense available to the user to compensate for any voltage drops between source and load. We have enable and disable. We have power good. We also have PM bus on board. With the PM bus, you can communicate with your power supply through an I squared C communication line. And this allows you to set the voltage. It allows you to read back the voltage, read back the current, and read back the temperature. So when you are selecting your power supply, what you have is a choice of one of four modules. And because of their fully floating nature, these can be used as a building block. So if you need higher voltages, you can use a series connection pin to put two or three or more modules in series to create a higher voltage. And if you need more current at the same voltage, you can parallel the modules. So using a parallel link, you can put these modules in parallel to give you higher currents. So in terms of assembly, you'll see here that we have two connectors that need to mate with two connectors on the power mod itself. And this has been designed to make the ease of integration. So you take your power mod, insert it into the module, and then fix it using two earth screws here and here. And that's how to configure the Coolex 600. For any further details, please refer to www.excelsis.com.